After Hillary shocks crowd with crazy Halloween costume, Patriots give her nasty surprise. Hillary Clinton says she is ready for Halloween. With all the big Washington, D.C. parties going on, Bill and Hillary have been known to go all out, wearing elaborate costumes. Hillary has previously dressed up as Dolly Madison, Dolly Parton, and one year, at the White House, she showed up as a witch. However, this year, she has gone too far, and after she revealed her crazy costume, Patriots gave her a nasty surprise. You don't want to miss this. It has been a year since Hillary Clinton lost the presidential election, and it's time she moves on, but Hillary's narcissistic personality disorder has gotten the best of her and she refuses to let it go. Never was that so apparent as her interview last night. Asked about her Halloween costume for this year, Hillary let out a maniacal laugh and said, I have to start thinking about it. I think I will maybe come as the president. NBC News's Alex Seitz-Wald has some bad news about America's smartest woman, it seems she's still harboring some delusions about what took place almost a year ago, reports Twitchy, referring to the failed presidential candidate's ridiculous statement about dressing up as the president. Why anyone would ask Hillary about her Halloween costume, knowing the all-too-obvious answer, is a mystery. So, we can only wonder, will the crazed Mrs. Clinton at least spring for the wig and a MAGA cap if she's going out dressed as President Donald Trump? Hillary was in Chicago, still on her never-ending book tour. What happened, the title of her book explaining her take on the 2016 election, is a self-indulgent bore of a book, and we guess she is running out of things to say to the liberal snowflakes showing up to buy it. Maybe someone's telling her those copies of what happened she's signing are executive orders, and they're still remodeling the White House so she's governing from a series of bookstores and Costco locations, Twitchy sarcastically reports. You can tell the question was a setup. The reporter mentions her grandkids in the question, but instead of sharing what they are dressing up as for Halloween, Hillary's sole focus is to make the joke about dressing up as the president. When Clinton hems and haws on her answer, Sites Wald, gives her an out by asking about her grandchildren, Charlotte and Aiden. Most grandparents sleep at the chance to gush about their grandchildren. Not Hillary, she ignores the chance to talk about her grandchildren and makes her comment about dressing up as the president for Halloween. Very telling, reports the Gateway Pundit. The left-wing outlet Huffington Post loved Hillary's idea of dressing up as the president, reporting, Needless to say, her answer was met with thunderous cheers. Right, by the 30 die-hard Clinton sycophants in the room, and it was hardly thunderous. Patriots across the country gave Hillary a nasty surprise giving her their take on her costume choice. Hillary's got much bigger problems than her choice of a Halloween costume. President Donald Trump just ensured that the FBI informant, who has hardcore evidence implicating her in the illegal Uranium One deal, has had his gag order rescinded. Robert Mueller, when he was acting FBI director, placed the gag order on the informant, making sure the Clintons would get off scot-free. Now, this mystery informant, who was undercover inside the Kremlin, is ready to testify, and don't worry, he is being kept at a safe house per his attorney, Victoria Tonesing. Hillary Clinton's inability to let the election go is just a symptom of her serious psychiatric disorder which is most recognizable in the way she lies. WND reported, Hillary Clinton has indeed become well known as a serial liar, as fully two-thirds of Americans, 68% in a recent poll, said she was neither honest nor trustworthy. Not only does Clinton lie to protect herself, as she has regarding Benghazi and her private email server, but she lies when there appears to be no benefit to doing so. For example, she famously claimed she was named after Sir Edmund Hillary for his conquering of Mount Everest, even though that didn't happen until six years after Clinton was born. She also notoriously claims she landed under sniper fire in Bosnia in 1996, when newspaper and video accounts revealed exactly the opposite. Robert Reich, MD, a New York City psychiatrist and expert in psychopathology says compulsive lying can be associated with dementia or brain injury, Dr. Gina Ludon, a political psychology and behavior expert, told WND. 
Otherwise, compulsive lying can be associated with a range of diagnoses, such as antisocial, borderline and narcissistic personality disorders. Hillary's psychosis seems to be getting worse, if that is possible, as she's facing the possibility of being brought up on numerous criminal charges. Yet, she is still focused on her election loss. Americans dodged a bullet when Trump won, and here's hoping that lying traitor Hillary gets everything she deserves, deserves.